Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds. You're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. Got a couple guests with me today. We're going to head down to the Ohio Fish Rescue and we're going to release some of Big Rich's pretty cool fish. So, who do we have here? What's up, guys? What are you doing? Brian Barczyk. <laughs> hey, back. it's Eric and Mary. How are you? <laughs> Can't see you. Mary, are you in there? Cool. Well, we brought them for a sacrifice, you know. I'll do it. I'll do it for that big rich. Maybe That's our sacrifice. Right. <laughs> did, did you bring your suit, Eric? Yep. Oh, yeah. I got the trunk. Yeah, his bathing or his birthday suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right. So stay tuned. We're going to head down there and we'll uh, get some footage while we're down there. All of our predator friends in the house. This is absolutely incredible. Look at this. This is a big fish tank. What do you have for me, Greg? This hand, nothing. What the? <laughs> what in the heck is that? That's just what? Is this just in here? A little cave and just throw it in here. How what? cool is that? <laughs> this, is <crazy. laughs> this is called fantasy land. We got a red-tailed catfish down here. Look at that. It's got to be every bit of 36 inches. Look at him. He just got released. He's in his new home now. So cool. So this pond was really, really clear until a couple people got in. Greg's down in there. There's a gar right there. I don't know if you can see him. Here's some more cats down here. Here's our little friend. Might be a little camera shy. There he is. I think that I think that is so cool. Little Cayman. That is neat. Wow, that's pretty good, huh? Yeah, it does. Here, there's Brian Barczyk attempting to do a handstand. <laughs> and that's one. Okay, Brian, how about a somersault then? <laughs> Did your vertigo kick in? Oh, yeah. I want the water about here now. Woo! What's going on everyone? Puts Ponds and Gardens here, and uh, today we're at Ohio Fish Rescue, and he's gonna show you around. My name is Paul, if you don't know who I am, nice to finally meet you. My name is Paul Perro, I tend to do some fish videos, and in this case, we're at Ohio Fish Rescue today, and I just ran into this dude. He's awesome, and uh, enjoy the video, here you go. These my pond, I wanna get an otter. I'm FaceTiming Camp Canada right now. <laughs> I'm figuring this out. What's the other kind of bird? I don't know. Hey, here's good part Okay, so we're going to talk to Joe from the Ohio Fish Rescue. So Joe, tell me a little bit about what your role is in in the Ohio Fish Rescue. What do you do? Um, I actually live in, I live in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. Um, I pick up the rescue fish around the Midwest, you know, Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, Colorado, Minnesota, and I house them in my home. And then every three to four months, I transport them here to Ohio. Oh, perfect. What do you consider a rescue fish? Someone calls you up and says, I want to get rid of my fish? Is that a uh, rescue fish? Somebody getting out of the hobby, more commonly, it's somebody who will buy you know, a red-tailed catfish when they're four inches long and they're cute. And they don't realize in a year, that fish is going to be two feet long, eating everything else in the tank, and they can no longer house it. So basically, fish that have outgrown their homes, unfortunately, due to lack of research by the open. Right. I hate, I hate to say that, but that's what a lot of it is. Sure. Um, so basically any fish that needs, needs help, whether it's you know, people getting out of hobby, getting too big for the tank, or it's just it's eating, it's eating everything else in the tank. Uh, right. right. Wow. 
Wait till he gets off the white step. He's just leisurely long enough to get the ground. I was checking out the light. He's not put in the... I mean, this is like releasing the dolphins back to the ocean. The other one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're back in Big Rich's fish room, and look at these cats in here. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at these fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving if you don't give me a real towel. Who's that bobber in the water? Hey, it's Chris Yax hey, from Michiana. <laughs> from Aquascapes in Michiana. How's the water, Chris? How is the water? Uh, actually, it actually feels really good. And uh, I think some really good shots here. It's kind of murky. You're stirring it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying not to. But Hey, Louise. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Looks a little different from last time you were here, doesn't it? It's all... It's all filled with water. Yeah? So this is a platinum gar right here. From what I'm told, it's a pretty expensive fish. But isn't that beautiful? I saw a video that said Rich wanted to convert his indoor swimming pool into a pond. He was trying to figure out the filtration, and I go, I know I can help this guy. I know a guy that can help this guy. Ed Ballou of Team Aquascape. And we came out here February. We came out here February. February 17th, and in 24 hours, we had this pond completely drained, completely um, put in with the aqua blocks and the centipedes and the snorkels. And today is the first day that we've actually had any fish in it, and we actually got kids in it swimming. And I gotta tell you, I spent about an hour and a half in here today. This was way more fun. Than I was dreaming about today, and this was way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. So, how about a hand for Big Rich for hosting? I was giving a tour for the uh, the fish room, and I came out. I'm like, shh, don't tell my wife. Because eventually, I'm going to turn this pool into a predator <laughs> pond. And I thought nothing would ever come of that. I never even planned on it. Someone had once mentioned you and the pond guy got to get together. I'm like, oh, pond guy, I get fish. You know, that's I, that's that's what I thought. And then I get contacted by the pond guy because he saw that little stupid yeah. clip at the end, and he came out here, and in two days did more work than I thought was humanly possible. All these contractors showing up, all these people, and these guys tore my pool apart like, like they've done this every single day of their life. It was crazy. And, and then they started doing this uh, flagstone. You can't really see it right now. See how big pieces of flagstone? All the way around the side, I was like, I love that look, that looks good, you know? Not even to worry about the hours and the four feet of, you know, of filtration underneath there, it was crazy. But I saw this flagstone, and I'm like, I love that. And then they started putting in these power heads and lights, and I'm like, all right, all right, this is, this is beyond anything I ever expected. And uh, when we filled it up, I, I couldn't wait to get fish in it. And, you know, then, then with the shelves and, and the waterfall features over here, this was just amazing. I, I never thought, I felt like I hit the lottery. I swear to God I did. I was this little kid, just got given a brand new bike for Christmas. So it was that awesome. So, you know, everybody wants to come over and see it and all that. It's a little dirty right now, but we have people in there, and, and you know, uh, as time goes on, it, it cleans up in three days right now. But as time goes on, the soot from the, the gravel, that'll all get carried into the... And the fish will keep much further now, now that we got yes. that channel catfish yes. in there and whatnot. Oh, look at that big red tail. Beautiful. Um, 
I saw you in there for like an hour snorkeling, just going after fish and stuff. That's, that's well, that's the most point. amazing thing was I figured that these fish would be skittish once we moved them out of that tank. I mean, that's a 4,400 gallon tank, which is about as big as I've ever heard of anybody having. And we just moved those fish from a 4,400 gallon tank to a 58,000 gallon recreation pond. These fish are moving on up like the Jeffersons. Oh yeah. It's like, it's like taking orchids from uh, you know, SeaWorld and releasing them back to the ocean. They're, they, were, they were so natural. I mean, the red tails were already schooling, so the fish are completely already relaxed in here. They've been here for a, a couple of hours. I saw the iridescent. Somebody was standing on the steps right there, and that big iridescent shark came up and swam between their legs and just kept on swimming. I was like, wow, that's amazing. So this is a living testament, this pond right here, to Rich's dreams at Ohio Fish Rescue. For him to be able, this is every kid's fantasy that I grew up with, to have something like this and to have a place like this. So for Aquascape to be able to promote the hobby and to be able to get more people interested in that because I know what Big Rich is going to do with his YouTube channel, with his Instagram page, is inspire more people just like me when I was a 12 year old kid. I would have looked up to a guy like Big Rich that has a dream pod in your house. I mean, how many people could have this? And for us, it was an absolute pleasure to do this. So you told me, you said, come on back. I want you to bring up some banners. Remember you told me to bring yes. some banners? Yes. So we got two banners. I haven't even seen them myself. Oh, really? The marketing team put it together. Can you give me a hand here? Let's see the first one. Oh, look at that. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. So you got to look at my you look like an alligator. <laughs> every single day up here. Yep. And then I know we got a Team Aquascape one with the whole group that was building this. So here we go. Let's see what this one looks like. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So these are the first banners that you'll get, and that's all we want. Hang up our banners, and we're happy to support you and your mission here as a 501c3. You're Thank doing you. great work. This is absolutely fun. And now, we have a chance to party. How about a hand for Big Ranch, everybody? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Brian here. I am doing a little takeover on Dan's channel. Uh, Dan's a good guy. You guys definitely got to be giving him some love for sure. Uh, I appreciate that he brought us here. He drove us. He's the one that kind of facilitated it, so it's really awesome. Uh, we are at Ohio Fish Rescue. Absolutely loving it right now. Take a look at these things. Oh my gosh. I mean, this pond is crazy. I mean, I think this is like, I don't know, like 4,800 gallons. I'm not even sure. I'm making numbers up right now. But look at these rays right here. Oh my Oh my gosh, I am definitely in my element. You know, hey, listen, I'm not necessarily a fish guy. I'm a reptile guy, but that doesn't mean that I don't love fish. So I'm having a great time here. Look at these guys here. Uh, there's some love in the air. Look at the love. Look at the love right now. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, so uh, yeah, so we're having a great time. We went swimming in the uh, 58,000 gallon aquarium. Uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, I'm gonna give the camera back. Hope you guys enjoyed this little takeover. Uh, I'll see you soon. Can you get me in the air? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's for 10. 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! put a, a 15 foot stream, deep stream, oh. in the back here. So the fish, if it's 10 feet deep, or 10 inch deep, the fish <laughs> will be able to swim back up in here. We'll have a little upper pool up in here, and then we're gonna pull out this bush. We're gonna put a biofalls right back there, and the biofalls is gonna ta ta cast down, and they're gonna put a sign up Ohio Fish Rescue right there. Oh, now. sweet. Wow. So That's everybody coming up at the front now will be able to see this is Ohio yeah. Fish Rescue. Yeah, I know they're the right place. Yeah.